Here's the wild card with the state of Arizona. In Maricopa, a lot of the outstanding vote right now is late mail-in or late drop-off ballots. Monday, Tuesday, drop-off ballots or mail-in. Those have actually leaned more Republican. Those have leaned more Republican. It's a little bit different. Arizona is a much heavier vote-by-mail state. They know how to do it. They've done it for several cycles. So those have leaned more Republican. And that is why the Trump campaign was so furious when other networks were calling the race for Joe Biden, why they have maintained that they have a pathway here. And they are right. If you look at what's outstanding right now, Maricopa County, only 83 percent reporting. We expect about 100,000 more votes to come in here. That might be a little bit low, a little bit more than that as well. We expect about 17,000, 18,000 more votes to come in here in Pima. This is a Democratic stronghold. You expect this to go a little bit more Biden. But if you're the Trump campaign right now, you have your eyes on Maricopa. It's obviously the most populous part of the entire country, or of the entire state. You know a lot more vote is coming in, and you believe you have a pathway based on that vote if you hit your margins. Arizona is over. Even if Donald Trump wins the outstanding vote 51, 52 percent, Joe Biden wins the state of Arizona. What, what Donald Trump needs to do with what we see here when Kyung Law gives us the numbers here in about 20 minutes is, is he hitting 56, 57 percent? That keeps him on track. We'll wait and see. We don't know the entire composition, but that's why we're watching. That's why this is narrowed. And that's why nobody over here has called this state yet. Donald Trump is still very much has a pathway here.